Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today in the driveway, we have a repair. You know, these are one of my favorite woolen mowers of all time. They bring very good money, but unfortunately, this isn't mine. So, the complaint with this lawn mower is that it cuts the lawn for about a half hour, the air filter gets clogged with oil, and it conks and dies out. So, Uh, he put up an ad for lawn repair, and a couple of people in the community recommended me, so here it is. Now, we were going back and forth a little bit, but, um, Mucky kind of worked out in the aspect that I went to go pick it up instead of him dropping it off. Because, um, we'll save that till the very end. But he also tried fixing the machine himself, and... He screwed it up. Well, he thinks he did. I don't think he did. Because, look at this. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see how much oil is in here. Oh, you know what? I will... I'll get you down to mower height. If you guys could see where the oil is coming out of. Well, you could see where the, there's oil residue all over the machine. So, let's buzz this filter off. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. It's just oozing right out. Can you guys see that? So, let's give it a pull. Let's see what we got. First pull. So let's go take a look at this really bad repair he said that he tried to do. So, I don't know where he got this idea from with the muffler being clogged. So, he took it upon himself to um, remove the muffler and he couldn't get the muffler back on so he cut something. Uh, I know exactly what he cut. But if you guys know or are familiar with these machines, then you can guess what he cut because it's attached to the muffler. So let me get some uh, 3 8 and we'll zip this off. So in order to get to where he should have gotten, we're going to need to pull these recoil housing bolts off because we really have to pull the engine trap off. So very easy. There are three bolts, and then right after that, we will get, we will expose the engine shroud. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. There's one more hidden bolt. All right, so that's three. And this is your, I wouldn't say it's hidden, but for your oil filter tube, that comes out. this aside. Alright, now we have three eighths, which are going to need a long extension. So three eighths bolts are going to be two in the front. Now if you guys are noticing my Milwaukee ratchet technique, see how I'm starting it? And then I grab the bolt. Look, someone's been in here. I wonder. I think I repaired this lawn mower. Look at this. These all have anti-seize on them. Hey, hey, hey! This did come locally. So, it's fantastic. I don't recognize the guy at all. Oh well. 
Well, we like that. So these two are in the back. Hmm. Yeah, look, and he sees. See how this thing is coming off nice and loose? So the story is this was his buddy that gave it to him, and he bought this brand new five years ago. Obviously not. Someone isn't telling the truth. So let's pull this off. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is... Look at this. Can you guys see that? The whole assembly is missing. All right, let's go get my junk motor. So, I'll bring you over here. This is a junk motor that I have. And I had a video on it. But Mrs. Pate's performance deleted the beginning, opening of the video. And it was pretty darn important. And that's something I could not replicate. So I had to scrap the whole video. Oh, well. That's life. But thank God I'm busy. And I have plenty of content for you guys. very rare you'll see me making a video about nonsense I'm basically doing nothing that is small engine related I think I don't know don't quote me on that maybe later down the line because my wife has this fascination now that when we go on vacation we should take everybody with us like, yeah, no, no, that's not happening. But, you know, it's funny. Mrs. Pate's performance also asked the question, right? Because we were talking to Bruce Pender. And, uh, Bruce Pender is absolutely a small engine legend, per se. And he went away to Mexico, and he vlogged it, and it was fantastic. It was, it was good, and we were the only few people that figured out his um his field. But nonetheless, when he was shooting video and we were talking to him, he was like, "Oh, he was telling people that he was a YouTuber," which I think is awesome. Okay, but then I figure out what point, at how many subscribers do you have? Do you say that you are a YouTuber? It's a good question. So anyway, to take I'm gonna get you off the stand. Let's see what we got here. Look what's here. Okay. And here. <laughs> Missing. So we have to get all of that off. Oh, he actually bent these tabs back. That's pretty rare. So we gotta bend these tabs back and zip those bolts off. This I should think I tightened by hand, so those should come out fairly simple. Oh no! Of course not. Of course not. That is a lot of work. Cut the whole entire assembly out. Right? So. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to give away the um, the end of this video. I will give away the end of this video at the end of this video. How about that? So this is completely missing. He didn't cut it out. He just left it out. Right? That's what it looks like. Here we go. Alright, let me go get a little hammer. You just gotta bend these tabs back. And we are going to release the muffler. Wait, did I bring the light? <gasps> no, I did. I did. So these should be 7 16ths. Nope. I lied. Maybe half inch, 13 millimeter. Another liner. These are on 11, did I do the right size? 
is a 10. <gasps> Idiot. I grabbed the wrong side. Alrighty. Look at this. He really did. Oops, and that's a pair of tin snips he used too. Alright, so let's get this gasket out. And then, this will go here, like so, and then this will go back in. I gotta put this back in. So in case you guys are wondering, what I'm charging him for this. It's 150 bucks. Pick up delivery, tune up, and that replacement part. We're all happy. I'm happy. He's literally right around the corner. This repair isn't over yet. I'm not going to bore you guys with tuning this up. Even though that goes against my creed, I should be showing you guys everything I do, but not in this case. So, this is your auto choke. As the exhaust gets hot, the sensor opens it up and pulls it forward. So, with that being said, Put this back together. And you know what I love? I don't even have to put any seeds on these bolts because they already have it on there. Hold on one second, I'm supposed to sell one more. Excuse me. One second, I'm just texting him the location. I'm gonna probably edit this out. Okay, so let's put these APCs bolts back in. Beautiful. Somebody was thinking ahead. So here's the deal. Here is, actually, here is the initial complaint. Even though you guys have probably read it already. Is that he is cutting the grass. This is his exact words, or maybe his post, whatever. This is what I remember. That half hour, oil starts puking out of this thing, and it's, it just doesn't make any sense. So he said he did a tune-up on his own. So initially I thought, I mean, this guy just overfilled the oil, but it really shouldn't be. I mean, this thing should be smoking like crazy that's the case. So, he wanted me to come to his house and just fix it right then and there on the spot. And as you guys know, I am not mobile unless it's easy peasy one, two, three. And I didn't think this is easy peasy one, two, three. But, anyway, I ended up going to his house. And <clears throat> I looked at his grass for two seconds. And I says, I know what your issue is. As I'm tightening this, you guys could, you know, I'm going to put the screenshot up of his property. 
So, to come down to operator error. If you guys see his yard, and you see his cutting path, he is cutting side to side, and not up and down. Okay? So now, just like, remember, remember when we service equipment? Right? Do you remember that? What do I always say? I say that you must always, no ifs, ends, or buts, no questions asked. I know what happens sometimes you get busy and you forget, okay? When you tip a lawnmower over on its side, right? Muffler side down. Okay? If you don't tip a muffler side down, everything is going to black flow right out the carburetor. Get a little via, might even get a little via spark plug too, depending how bad it is, you know. So he's good to go. So after I explained to him what was going on and why, he says, oh, so now he's going to try and cut his grass up and down, which I still said no, because that's a very steep hill. And I think he should still be cutting it side to side. I told him it sucks. You know? Because, you know, when you... he, he We were having a good conversation about grass, too. Okay, so he's kind of sort of into his lawn. Like I said, kind of sort of. Not passionate like myself. Which is okay. Okay? So he could not... Because he's going that route, he really can't strike well. So he says, if you want to go, you know, up and down, I says, you know, that's on your call. I mean, listen, you blow, you blow this thing up, you know exactly who to call. Because I will gladly take this lawnmower off his hands, even after he blows the engine. Or I have to try and locate an engine for him. Which, honestly, possibly locating an engine for this wouldn't be so bad. Because there's a lot of lawnmowers out there. I mean, listen, I buy lawnmowers with bags. If it doesn't have a bag on it, the value is absolutely crap. Now, they get credit when credit's due. Mrs. Pate's performance got very lucky when she bought... Well, I'm sorry, when she bought, when she bought a bunch of stuff and the guy gave her the free lawnmower, that is the most expensive lawnmower. I have sold without a bag. I have never gotten a hundred bucks. Maybe I have, because it was self-propelled. I don't remember. But this one was a push mower. So, that's it. I'm going to service this machine. We are done here. Hope you guys learned something. And if you want to learn some more cool stuff, don't forget the Mrs. and I go live every 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Okay? A couple cool things. Don't forget to enter the spring giveaway. And also, don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pate's Performance. Later. So check this out. Changing the oil. Got this thing nice and hot. It's smoking. Can you guys hear the popping? I have never seen that before. Hopefully he didn't mess anything up. So I'm going to sharpen the blade. I'm going to let this thing run for a half hour. And we'll see what happens.